All right, you guys, I know it's been a while, about a week or so. Um, been pretty busy. I got my daughter for spring break and uh, was trying to spend some time with her. I haven't seen her for a long time. So um, I want to do this video. I know there's a couple other channels that's already done like a tool video or something. And um, that was cool because I've watched them. I've been playing this for about a month or so. and um, But I'm doing a video on tools that you have to have you know when you work on your vehicle or you know your fox bodies you know you're working on these fox bodies or any vehicle at all and um, <clears throat> I feel this is important I've had a, a, a handful of people ask me to do a video on what tools they have to have to work on these fox bodies or any vehicle you know this is this gear is geared towards any vehicle so um, now, all right, now, in the course of this video, I might recommend stuff, but it's not a necessity. This video is for necessity only. So you, the tools you have to have, you know, this is kind of a budget. I'm kind of doing this on the, way, on the whim here. Um, I don't have it planned in my head what I'm gonna tell you guys, but I kind of have a good idea of what we're gonna, what I'm gonna say, you know, what I'm gonna show you. And um, because I, I actually, this is what I did. This is this is what I did when I first started. Um, you know, I didn't have this big ass shop. I didn't have all these tools, all this equipment, and shit. So I'm going to show you guys what I had when I first started out. You know, when I first started working on vehicles and the tools that you have to have. So I'm going to go around, of course, go around the shop. I'm going to tell you what you have to have, me, you guys. I'm telling you, you got to have these tools. And then I'm gonna um, show you guys what I recommend, and I I understand that you know some of this stuff's expensive, and some people can't afford this. So I I do understand, you know, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna throw some recommendations out there. But there's one thing that I recommend. No, actually, th you have to have this. You have to have this, right? It's not very expensive. Not very expensive at all. Go down at Harbor Freight and pick you up one, right? parts washer <clears throat> try to find it in your budget to get a parts washer so this little guy right here you you want to really have this because when you're working on vehicles you, you got to keep you got to clean your parts before you want to before you install them back on the car you know, I, that's I recommend installing clean parts on your car you guys so you <laughs> you got to have a parts washer man I'm telling you it's like they're, you can get them used on Craigslist and, and Facebook too. You know, I've seen them for 50 bucks. Or you can get a new one for like $100 or something. 80, 100 bucks or something like that. Um, <clears throat> I know you see this behind me, this same blast cabin. This is not necessary, right? I, I would pick a parts washer over a damn sand blast cabinet, right? Because you can, you can clean your part really good and scuff it up and paint it. You don't really have to have a sandblast cabinet. But I re do I recommend a sandblast cabinet? You damn fucking straight I recommend a sandblast cabinet. <laughs> but, you know, so it's just, it's in the budget, you guys. I'm telling you, it's in the budget. So that you, you need. You, I really, really strongly suggest a parts washer. This is not necessary. A blast cabinet's not necessary. Um... Vacuum cleaner, I recommend that. Everybody probably has a shop vac. That's just something common. But yeah, a shop vac I would have, right? Um, let's look at, I'm gonna show you guys some tools, you know, that, that you really need. So let's, let's take a peek at um, some of these tools I have in this toolbox. All right, you guys, we're up on top of my toolbox, one of them. Um, you, you really would need some filters some face filters. I, I recommend getting some of those when you're doing certain jobs and shit's flying around everywhere. Just go ahead and get you some of those. Tape measure. You never know when you're gonna need a, a fucking tape measure. I would get a tape measure. Um, I, I have a, a mix of a lot of things, you know. So, I mean, don't pay attention to some of this shit I have in here. Um, <clears throat> I recommend a variety of Allen, Allen, uh, Allen wrenches and stuff, 
you know you can see I got a, quite a few here um, you know I call this a soft tape measure I'd get you one of those now this is stuff that I would get okay this is shit that I would get right so some of this stuff I'm gonna pass right up there's some more Allen's you know some more and then, of course, screwdrivers, you know, you don't have to have a shitload of them. Just get you a couple Phillips, couple um, flatheads, uh, you know, even um, those hex screwdrivers. I'd get you a set of those, too. So, yeah, just get you guys some, uh, a, a little, a good variety of rent, uh, screwdrivers, not, not a lot. Uh, let's see. I do have... <clears throat> you know a lot of electrical odds and ends you know I'm sure the normal car guy will collect those over the years and that's what I've done so you know of course you know get you some drills drill bits certain sizes um, a brass I, I, I recommend getting you a uh, like these big brass punches and stuff you know, especially when you're changing these fuel tanks out on these cars, you want to use a you want to use a brass a brass punch because you use a steel one, you you create that spark, man. You might as well kiss your ass goodbye. I'm telling you. So get you a couple gra uh, brass punches. <clears throat> and um, now some of this stuff's not necessary, you guys, but I am telling you right now, so far, you have to have this stuff, right? Um, we'll pass this up here. I, I, this, is, this is a recommendation. This is very important, right? Now, it's going to make your life easier. Um, this is going to go on to what I'm going to be telling you down there. Um, like this right here, this air compressor. To believe it or not, you guys, air compressor is not necessary. It's not. Especially when you're on a budget and you're just trying to get tools that you need, right? So... I would, you know, if it's not in a budget, the air compressor is not necessary. Good old hand tools is what's going to do the job for you. This, this is more of a uh, luxury. You know, this is a luxury pretty much, this air compressor. So I really, I recommend an air compressor, but uh, it's not in this necessary list, right? It's not necessary. And that goes for the air tools that I have down here, right? So, you know, you don't have to have these air tools, you guys. This is not a necessity, okay? But the hammers are. So these hammers, you know, get you a variety of hammers, regular hammers, um, a brass hammer, um, <clears throat> of course, dead blows and stuff, you know. Uh, yeah. You know some some nice crow, you know crowbars and stuff, whatever. Um, I I would I would get a couple big pipe wrenches. I do. I would recommend it. You guys be surprised when you need a pipe wrench. And then now now this is necessary, right? Electric electric tools, right? They're not as expensive. And they do last. I got a couple Makitas in here, you know. Um, couple, there's a Makita drill right here, you know. I do. I, I that that you have to have, right? Because because they're not really expensive and they last, right? Air tools can go out, you know. Air tools have gone out on me, so. And that brings me back to. I recommend the air tools. I, re I recommend a compressor, but it's not necessary. This is a budget. Um, now bits, star bits, hex bits, all that stuff, you guys. You know, star bits, hex bits. If you can, you know, bits are cheap, right? Bits are cheap. Um, I do recommend a, uh, I, I call this like a snap ring pliers set. You should get one of those. Okay, um, you should get a, uh, at least one uh, wire stripping tool 
and at least and get you a oil filter wrench. Oil filters wrenches are very important because sometimes those are a bitch to get off. So uh, this is this is the bread and butter, you guys, right? The the wren the wrenches, the sockets, uh, the crescent wrenches. Um, you know all that the old school tools man like they used to f use back then so you know get you a nice socket set metric and standard get you uh, a quarter inch three eighths and a half inch drive ra uh, you know ratchet and um, you know that's your bread and butter right here that that's what you need to get you know um, and get some crescent wrenches. Get 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 a, a you know a uh, a cutter. You know get get a few cutters and stuff. That that's what you need. That's really what you need. Get some uh, pliers. You know get you some pliers. A couple different size pliers is good, right? Get you a, a little cutter here. Now I do, now I bought these from Harbor Freight, right? Because when it comes to torque wrenches, as long as you keep maintenance on the torque wrenches, you're, you'll be fine. But these here, I've had these for a while and they work. So I have, you know, all three um, torque wrenches from Harbor Freight. So I, you do need to get a torque wrench, you know, at least up to 100 pounds, 100 foot pounds. Um, uh, you know, impact sockets not necessary. Like I said, it's not necessary. A tap and die set is necessary. I picked this up at Harbor Freight, you guys. Uh, get some extensions. Those are necessary, very necessary. Because I'm going to tell you guys straight up, man. Some of this stuff is not necessary. You only need the essentials, and you can do anything on a car, right? And you, you, you can see I'm geared towards hand tools. You don't need nothing else but old school hand tools, right? That's what that's what all you need. But make sure you get the right ones. And like I get you a good wrench set, okay? I got a full Craftsman set here, metric and standard. You know, one if you just get a nice wrench set, socket set with all the metric and standard sizes, you're going to be good to go, you know? And then, you know, get you a few files. Um, I do, now, you know, this ain't necessary, but I do recommend a, a, a caliper. Because, you know, you might need a caliper when you're measuring certain things for fitment. So, and here's a couple little, you know, crow crowbar style deals here I would get. I'd even get a pulley puller too. Um, yeah, th this is important too. You guys go ahead and get you, uh, you know, a voltmeter. That's what I would do. Um, these are a bunch of bits and, and drill bits and stuff and, and socket bits. You know, it wouldn't hurt to pick up a couple of these. You might need those. Like I said, you can never have enough bits. You know, you can pick these up. They, they're good. Uh, here's a pulley remover. An installer set I'd get you one of those because I try I'd tell you guys straight up what you need right you need all your common hand tools all of them okay you don't need an air compressor you don't need air tools you know this is a budget this is if you have to budget for your tools to be able to work on your vehicle so <clears throat> now there is one thing some of these can be pricey right um, a battery drill you know just get a just get a decent um, battery operated drill you know this is a black and decker 20 volt this thing works nice and they're 100 bucks or something you know <clears throat> uh, let's see a timing gun you will need one of those if you guys are messing with timing and, and putting motors in and stuff like that so now you have to have this okay this like I said this 
you have to have. You gotta have a jack. I recommend a three ton or bigger. Okay, and I do have four jack stands. There's one, and then I have three other ones over here. You see the three set in there. So, so get you a, a nice low profile jack with four jack stands, three ton or more, three or six ton. Don't get any lower than a three ton, uh, three ton um, jack stands, and get you yeah, at least a three ton jack. That's what I would recommend, three ton or higher. You have to have those, especially when you're working on a vehicle. You know, because we're not talking about the lift here. That's not that's a that's not a necessity. Just like the sandblast cabinet's not a necessity, and the air compressor is not a necessity. All these hand tools that I've shown you, the jack, the jack stands. Um, I do re recommend a charger. All right, you guys. So down here, this I would eat. This is an old school Sears one. This thing's the shit too. This, this was this is a nice one. So this is a charger slash engine starter. You need to get one of these. Okay, very important to get one of these. And I recommend you really don't have to have a bench grinder slash wire wheel set up, but I you really need one. You I, I really strongly suggest one of these, but it's not necessary. Okay, and you'll need a vise, a bench vise. You, you really need one of these, you guys. Now, there's other stuff around here that I'm not even gonna show you because it's not necessary. There's another socket set right here. I got two socket sets down here. I recommend maybe getting you an extra socket set you could throw in your car, right, in case something happens. That, that's, I would, I would do that. Get you another socket set too. Leave one at home in your shop or your garage, and then get another one for your vehicle. Because I, you know, I have all this stuff. Plus, I have a couple sets down here. Um, there's a creeper down there. You know, if you don't want to be on the floor, that's the necessities, you guys. That that's what I'm trying to get at. You don't have to have a lot of this stuff that I have, right? It, it just makes my life easier. So, like, you know, the sandblast cabinet, the, you know, the car lift, the compressors with the, all the, the pneumatic tools and all that stuff. And I even have a bunch of tools that's not necessary either that I didn't show you guys. But the main thing here, <laughs> the main thing I'm getting at here, you guys, is old school. Think old school when you're on a budget, right? Think old school. All, all your necessary hand tools that I, that I just said to get. You know, sockets, wrenches, crescent wrenches, um, you know, pliers, screwdrivers, bits, you know, uh, all your screwdriver bits, drill bits, electric hand tools, you know, because those are cheaper and, you know, they're, they're not bad, really. You just, you just can't use them out of your garage or your shop, but but that's what I'm getting at. So you know, and and you know, of course, the jack and the jack stains. It's just that's that's it, you guys. I mean, just get what you have to get. It's what I'm trying to get at here, you know. Um, but that's that's what I did when I first started, and. Um, but you know, and I, I'm actually actually gonna do another video. I'm gonna go to Harbor Freight and probably Lowe's and Home Depot or something. And I'm gonna pick me up a, a couple more things that I need for this shop. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. Not sure what day I'm doing that. That's probably gonna be the next video. I don't know yet. Uh, but we're, we're, I gotta pick up a couple more things anyway. I, I, I have to get an engine hoist. Now if you guys plan on taking out an engine, yeah, you might want to get you an engine hoist or go borrow one or something, but, but that's, that's what I would do, right? Um, but uh, that's it, you guys. I just wanted to do this video. I've had some people ask me to do this video because they've seen what I had here in the shop, and they asked what tools they, they, they have to have. And just think old school, you guys. 
hand tools, manual tools. That's what you need, nothing else. That's it. So look out for the next video, you guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, hit, hit the like button and that's all I ask. Hit the like button, that's it. All right, so we'll see you in the next video.